Hello everyone, let's learn how to triage a patient. Now we know that triage is subdivided into four categories, red, yellow, green and black. So now what is the first thing that you think of when you see red? It is danger. So remember the mnemonic danger. D for damaged chest wall in the form of flail chest. A for abdominal bleeding which is profuse. N for nose and facial trauma. That means severe facial trauma comes under your red category. G is for conditions when the GCS is low such as EDH. E is for extensive or exsanguinating blood loss from anywhere in the body. And R is for rapid collection of air or blood within the chest. That is tension pneumothorax or hemothorax. Next, at a traffic signal, if you see the yellow light, what do you do? You tend to slow down. So remember the mnemonic, slow. Okay. S is for spine and pelvic fractures. L is for laceration of your abdominal organs. O is for open or compound fractures and W is for wounds which are degloving in nature. So all these will fall into the second or the yellow category. Green is pretty straightforward. These are also called as a walking wounded patients. That means who have simple sprains, fractures or lacerations. And finally we have black category. That means are moribund or unsalvageable patients. So remember the mnemonic black itself. B is for brain injury which is severe and LAC. Remember, loss of abdomen and chest wall. That means there is evisceration of organs and everything is coming out. Again, these patients are unsalvageable. And finally, K. K stands for Kelvin. Kelvin is a unit of heat. So severe burns involving the entire body. Again, these patients are categorized as black and they are unsalvageable. So this is in short how to triage a patient. Thank you.